Today I show you how you can weld TIG with this machine. This is a Stell Iron Mic 221P and all what you need for this is a TIG torch and mostly 100% of argon. So that's everything. Let's go. Okay, step one is changing the polarity. For this we screw up this bolts or um, the screw nets with nuts. It's plastic and red nuts. This is mostly very tight. Um, with this machine can this wrench that you can go over and lose it. So out the red piece, the red cable is your torch and the black cable is your ground clamp. You put the ground clamp on the positive connect screw the nut on Torch, the red thing, comes on the negative connection. Also, screw the nut back on and tighten this back on a little bit because the red and after strong gets off. So then we have our wire from the MIG welding. Um, I snap off the end of my MIG nozzle here. Here you see the wire. I snap off. <coughs> Bring the MIG torch straight up. Looping this tighter here. And I have my fingers around my wire and turn my wires were back so that my, my wire comes out my MIG torch. Be careful when you're doing this because when it's going out and all the wire turns off. It flies around and it's hurt. Okay, that's good. That's everything inside the machine. So, now screw off your MIG torch. That's good. Put your TIG torch and screw it on. Your TIG torch needs an Euro central connector, but that's not a problem. What's going on? Okay. Make sure it's a little bit tight. So that's everything around the machine. Now we can do the display to the settings. And I shut the machine on. <coughs> then you took your camera. No. So here I have my settings. Set this on tick. Now the machine I can change my amperage with this other um, cycle up to 200 amps and now we can to the settings you have here the your down slope I put I um, I set this on about 2.5 seconds <coughs> now we press this button can to the pre-flow and the post flow on the post flow 
the pre-flow is okay. Select. Then we go to the post-flow. Um, we go a little bit up. We rolled around 100 amps. So I put this around on 5 seconds pre-flow and uh, post-flow. Also, select. Select and no, home. <laughs> and then we can change our, um, our 100 amps around. I rolled on around 90 amps because my material is only 3 mil thick. I like to run a little bit hotter, 92 amps. Then we came to the gas. We need 100% of argon on about 8 liters per minute. <coughs> and yes. And because this machine has a lift arc function, so you must have your uh, tungsten touch the metal, press your button and go up. So then you have an arc and now I make an arc shot that you can see the um, stable arc from this machine. Touch the metal and you see the little spark. Then you go up and have your arc. So, I made this two worlds here, then focus, or worlds like this, you can make with this high quality machine here, I like it really, it has a really good um, nap to shut it out and shut it down, yeah, I like it, and when you like this, Please subscribe my channel, uh, writing comments, give likes, and I hope I can see you next time on my channel. Thanks, bye!